become an expat, um, YouTube millionaire, something I just want to talk about this morning because there's certain things you may not understand about YouTube that you may find useful uh, from what I'm finding. First thing is, although my expat videos bring in a lot of readership, they don't bring in a lot of revenue. The reason I do it is because I actually like sharing information. Um, if I sat here doing reviews on flip-flops, I'd probably earn more money. Now you may laugh, but commercially, it's advertising that makes money. This is why I think Vine are doing stuff with Coca-Cola and stuff at the moment and paying people to produce the videos because they are aware that is the new platform for selling goods. Now, although there's a lot of expats interested in the Philippines, um, and I get a growing subscriber rate, the money is not the biggest. Um, for example, the review on my Mercedes-Benz last year makes regular money. I, that makes, I can, I'm not sure I can actually say how much it makes. It's not big money, but it's enough to buy a couple of cups of coffee a month. Um, a bike review on pedals for my racing bike makes money every month and this is how obscure it is because what's happened is the TV marketing um, it's sort of gone down the toilet because people have stopped watching TV um, you're not getting the same sort of performance you know because people their attention span for junk has reduced so this is where people are going. They're going on YouTube, they're going on Vine, they're doing stuff where they can move away from adverts. As such, the whole market's changed and people are trying to understand how they're gonna get this back in the right direction. And this is why I'm saying, look, if you think you're gonna go to the Philippines and start a YouTube video, be aware, the best videos you might actually make money on if you're doing it for cash is reviewing things like glasses, reviewing things like your, uh, SD cards that you bought from somewhere because people are buying if you're like saying I bought this from uh, Amazon or eBay or whatever and spec the model etc you're probably gonna find you get a better return on the revenue not interesting videos I know but funny enough that's where the money is the expat stuff it's just out of interest. That, like I said, you know, this video, uh, the video um, I mentioned about putting this collaboration map together where expats could actually fill it in themselves and add their videos, etc. It's not a profit generating thing for me. Um, it's probably more hassle than it's worth for me, to be honest. But at the same time, um, I highly recommend it. Why? Because I need expats to start working together. There's too much in fighting um, if you want this to actually become a very viable project you need to start collaborating and I know I don't do it much but I, I rarely have time I've actually spent a bit of time commenting yesterday but today uh, being Sunday uh, my wife's got the church at 6 p.m. so I've got the kids then and probably gone out cycling since we haven't been out cycling this week so I've always got stuff going on, but I do try to, um, well, I'm trying more to connect with people. But at the same time, I'm not actually in the Philippines anymore. Although we have our house not there, I'm not going to be back for about another 6 to 12 months. So getting expat stuff about life in the Philippines, although I have it, it's all in here. You know, it's not visual anymore. Um, I have thousands of photos. I mean, on my hard drive there, I've got about 60,000 photos from the Philippines. But the, the whole point here is, if you expect to make big money, don't. What I would expect is for the average expat, they're probably gonna make maybe seven to maximum maybe 20,000 pesos a month off the expat videos. Uh, not big money, but at the same time, I've lived on less than 20,000 in the Philippines. I've lived on less than seven. It's good as a spare income. It's good as an emergency income. My money is actually going back to the Philippines every month and it's actually where the renovation projects are coming from for my in-laws new bedroom. Um, it's, it's what I call not real money because it's money. I sit here, do this. 
I'll go and have a coffee uh, with breakfast in the, uh, this morning and that'll be me for the day you know what's it cost me 10 20 minutes of my time plus 45 minutes upload doesn't cost a lot it's free money and that's why I do it you know well that's not why I do it but it's nice to get free money why I do it is I like sharing information and people keep asking me questions which means I keep sharing more information and I get into this routine next thing is I want to say uh, just to finish this video off is if you have any ideas or questions for videos please share them because I'll quite happily make a video on something that you generate a question on and uh, the reason being is I've got lots of material but I don't know what people want you know I've, I've I'm pretty much maxed out on what I can think of. I've got my notepad here, but I'm running out of ideas. Alright, thanks for watching.